Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Nick Alex, and I did not pick up the Iron Patriot uniform the first time it was on sale, but now I wanted to pick it up because I think it looks cool. It's a really great upgrade for the Dark Avengers, most notably Moonstone and uh, Sentry. And if Green Goblin gets an Awakening or a Tier 3 in the future, he will be invaluable for Null, for Danger Room Extreme, and other content like that as a leadership and support. He gives them... He gives himself the chain hit damage, but then he gives everybody uh, who's a Dark Avenger increased damage to heroes and villains. So super flexible uh, buff there for all the Dark Avengers allies. So I wanted to pick this up for a thousand crystals and take it through the ropes, take it take it through its paces. We, you know, we're trying to catch them all. You know, it's the, the whole Pokemon mentality. So let's take a look at this Green Goblin Blast uniform. I was kind of disappointed that it wasn't how I actually upgraded his gears, and yet I complain about not having enough TCP. Why did I do that for Green Goblin? Anyways. Um, I was actually a bit disappointed that it wasn't a speed uniform because I thought Green Goblin, you know, should stay as a speed type. He's sort of like Spider-Man's, you know, they're sort of arch nemesis and they share the same typing. If anything, he, he would have been combat. Maybe if he gets the red Goblin uniform in the future, he would move up to combat or move over to combat. But his build is pretty yikes right now. It's a fire damage 180 proc. So basically now that he has no fire damage, it's just a 180 proc. But we'll test him out anyways. We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see about the skills, which ones I need to level up. Remorseless Landing is going to need to be leveled up because I need to get the most out of that buff. It's a 25-25 buff for 10 seconds. Okay, so his the soft cap on his crit rate is only 50%. That's kind of nice. Oh, we need this one for the all defense down. Yeah, it goes up to 40%, which is okay. And then Guided Missile has an increase. Oh, he increases his little damage proc for two attacks. But it's only a 40%. They could have easily made that 80%, don't you think? A, a shield that is a percentage of his max HP. Okay, that doesn't seem to go up beyond 30%. I didn't know he had that shield. That's so weird. Was that added afterwards? Huh. And he's got burn damage. But really, really, you're getting him for the crazy 60% increase all attack to Dark Avengers allies and then the support. He's basically a leadership and support all rolled into one for anyone that has the Dark Avengers tag. And he also has the machine tag, so he's more vulnerable to Magneto, and he deals more damage with Ghost as a um, support or lead for him. So here, if we go over and check, he has the Dark Avengers tag, and then of course, Moonstone, the big uh, surprise of this update, also has the Dark Avengers tag. Some noticeable, or some, not noticeable, some notable characters from the Epic Quest that don't have the Dark Avengers tag. Sadly, my boy Scorpion, Maybe in the future he will get a, you know, Spider-Man Noir kind of uh, symbiote Spider-Man uniform that will take away maybe the durability and give him the Dark Avenger tag. And then, of course, Dakin, Wolverine's son, who's over here, also was not lucky enough. He didn't even get three abilities. Scorpion has the excuse. He already has three abilities. Three abilities is the max for now. But uh, sadly, he didn't get three abilities, and he also did not get the Dark Avengers tag. But I believe there are other characters that have the Dark Avengers tag. It honestly slips my mind now who they would be uh, besides Sentry. Does, does Molecule? Molecule Man wouldn't have it. Bullseye would have it. Yeah, okay. Bullseye has the Dark Avengers tag. Ares would have it. Ares is all the way down here. Sad Boy Hours. Sad Boy, sad boy Noises. Wow, so Ares has the Dark Avengers tag and, and Dakin doesn't. That's hilarious. And then there's no way Molecule Man has it. He, he's not a Dark Avenger. No, okay. So yeah, pretty, pretty, sh very, very short list of characters that have it, but it's better than nothing. And right away, he can already support two of the best characters in the game right now, Sentry and Moonstone. So let's take him into some content after we just fix up his build just a tiny bit. I want to, oh boy, we need to fix that there. And 39% ignore defense. Wow, that's that's a lot. That's a lot of ignore defense. I gotta say, you've got no. I'm not. That's not a lot. That's that's nothing. I'm lying. Why do you have so little all defense down? Also, or ignore defense. Also, why do I have so many uniform XP chips? I honestly don't know. I uh, I just have a lot of them. I guess I guess it does stack up from playing ABX. That's all I can say. Because honestly, I don't know how I have. What is it? Two thousand. I have 2,000 level 2 XP chips. I guess we underestimate how much is really being given. I have 2,015. That was a decent year. I have to get up to the third upgrade so we can get the ignore defense. There we go. It's attack speed. So I want to reroll that. We got physical defense as well. We don't want that. HP would be nice. Imagine he was good for PvP. Imagine. 
once they fix why does this roll so slowly once they fix pvp if they fix pvp then we will see how these characters work okay there we go and then we want physical attack or sorry energy attack excuse me this this needs to go at least like five times faster oh boy i don't mind re-rolling it I, I do mind the the like unbearably slow loading time crowd crowd you know okay rolled the same stat three times i mean dodge there you go okay sick all right so now we have 47 percent ignore defense and then we just all we need to do is slap on one energy attack uru here to replace that one and all attack all defense all attack dodge oh dang got some good ones there and we need to slap on one here there we go and then we need to upgrade that one oh energy attack hp all right let's go and do that let's get that maxed out and then this is also a daily quest for the iso enhancement so we're killing two birds with one stone let's go there we go boy upgrading characters in marvel future fight sometimes it's fun all right so now that it's stage six instead of stage five that actually does matter it's now eight percent ignore defense instead of whatever seven point whatever so now he is still not capped wow alex good job okay he's got 32 percent fire damage though that's useless that's useless okay sick so he's got a bunch of hp urus which is super weird why did i do that because i was using the regular green goblin and he's super fragile that's why okay now i remember so we're just going to replace this one here with one of these bad boys here and we should be good 49 okay but now his wow, his crit damage is so low 149 percent so the soft cap was 50 but he's at 65 percent crit damage or crit rate excuse me so let's just go ahead and give him some crit damage urus here i like to match it this is this is my new thing in marvel future fight matching where the uru goes so it looks um uniform so you can see here that, that that fourth row boom 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 it's all five star crit damage i'm insane so that's that's why that makes sense to me so now we have 161 percent crit damage okay let's take him into some content and literally my very first try all right i have absolutely no idea oh cool the little lights shine on him when he comes into the arena that's that's kind of cool I, I wish they would do more of those sorts of little effects when characters first come into the to the zone but i have absolutely no idea how to play iron patriot i never watched content about him so this is gonna be messy i picked this team up just because it's cool i i think the rotation was three four five something like that okay and then he look yeah and he's like yeah and then it explodes okay he's got a little bit of protection on three okay he's pretty fast i guess okay the damage is hilariously low okay well we can't stack the all defense down venom does 50 percent all defense down but um we don't have to worry about that conflicting with mine because mine's only 40 percent also venom's not striking for us does two do damage does one do damage okay none of his skills do damage interesting okay what is he used for he's literally just a leadership does he do any damage he does so few hits that looks so cool and yet the damage is so bad he's got a heal thought i saw a heal maybe that was from venom man am i can maybe i'm canceling some of the skills too early because they're not really doing anything three maybe you know what maybe we do no no i thought i thought maybe we do into five into three. Oh, we're healing because of venom okay this is this is something okay yeah stage 60 not a very high st well 65 but he's listen what is he used for exactly he's got his own leadership and his own support so it's a leadership it's a 60 percent attack leadership and a support what exactly am i supposed to use him for I was going to say I'd try him against stage one of Null, but that's not going to happen. What exactly am I supposed, supposed to use this cat for if not really a regular 100%, 180% damage proc is not good enough, eh? Wow. Okay. So what if I give him 
a uh, crit damage, crit damage proc. Do I have one of those? I'm making promises. Crit damage, fire damage, 200 proc. That seems a little bit too expensive for my good friend, um, whatever this guy's name is. Yeah, Osborne. Man, is he really this bad? There's no way. I must be doing something wrong. Let me let me practice a little bit more. Okay, so I think I figured it out. That's the best part about using Iron Iron Patriot. No, but I think I did figure it out. He can do a one-shot combo. So that's really exciting if you're into those kinds of things. Okay. And do like that and like that. And then, okay, yeah, it's like two and a half bars. All right, not bad, not bad. Definitely better than nothing. So, yeah. What'd you think of that? Yeah, look at that, look at that damage, look at that. Almost another half bar, because I'm waiting for the co-op button to come back. Yup, that's a thing. So we're using weapon hacks, we're filling up the cup, and he has a delayed, uh, he has a delayed all defense down on his third skill. I don't think that Venom and, um, what's her name, Shadow Shell, are the best combos here for him. But yeah, oh, there's three and a half bars. Yeah, I think if you can figure out the, I think if you can, you can tweak, I think you can tweak this, I could tweak this. Um, to, to figure out what the more optimal team would be. Oh, we're probably dead here. He's got a really long iframe on five, which hilariously could be good for PvP if we didn't have sentries and silver surfers running around everywhere, you know? Iframe ignore type thing. But um, this is not bad. You know, he can do stage 65 slowly. That's something. And it's a pretty satisfying combo to pull off. It's not always consistent. As you can see, Weapon Hex is really late there. He's got a, the thing, the, the heartbreaking thing about Iron Patriot is he's got a really cool fifth skill. So I, I sort of, in the back of my mind, really hope that he gets an awakening because his fifth skill is just so cool. And I know Deathminder and other people really like his, his fifth skill. And it's hilarious because the camera pans to him and it's, it's so Iron Patriot, right? This is so Iron Patriot. This is so Osborne. Like, I'm, this, I'm the star of the show. You work for me. I'm the I'm the boss. You know, I don't even look at explosions kind of thing. It's so sick. And then you play with him and you're like, wow, that's so not sick. They couldn't even be bothered. They should have changed, honestly, the name. It's not called Oz Formula anymore, guys. He he obviously didn't take the Oz Formula, right? Because because that's what happens when you take the Oz, right? That's see right here. You got expert glider. That makes sense because he's riding in a glider. And then here, oh, it's Oz Formula because he's a monster now, right? He took the Oz Formula. Uh, okay, here, Oz Formula. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense at all. So I feel like in some ways he was a little bit of an afterthought for the update. They, they put a lot of their focus into, I mean, Dakin looks really awesome. Obviously, uh, Sentry and Moonstone are amazing. Even Scorpion looks really cool and he has cool abilities and, and stuff like that. Molecule Man, they just goofed up on the damage, but otherwise he's pretty good. Bullseye's decent, but I feel like they just kind of cobbled together whatever they could for him. And the fifth skill is really dope, but yeah, I, I do think that he needs more energy attack and skill damage. Bonuses. Yeah, he's got some good passives and he's got a great leadership and stuff, but yeah, I feel like they definitely could have given him more uh, as far as damage goes. He's got paralyzed as well, so he's not, honestly not bad for ABX. He has paralyzed and burn. He's just missing silence, um, but I feel like he would need a huge damage bump from an awakening to actually be relevant. Otherwise, he's basically just, you can use him as, a, as an alternative one-shot character, although we have a ton of those right now that work. Beta Ray Bill, Moonst like Moonstone was a one-shot character that was introduced in this update that can go way higher. She could do stage 99 of Call Obsidian. He can't. Uh, there's better options for, for one-shotting, but he helps Moonstone be a better one-shot, right? And if he gets an awakening or a tier three in the future, then he'll always be an amazing lead and support for both Sentry and Moonstone in high end end game content. So I still think my original interpretation or my, my original evaluation of the character stands. I would I would skip this uniform unless you are investing heavily into Sentry and Moonstone and you want to use them in non DRX Danger Room Extreme non null content. If you want to use these characters in you know Squad Battle, um, ABX World Boss regular World Boss Ultimate um galactus and other gbrs then it could be useful otherwise i think it's a bit of a skip you honestly can't even use him for moonstone in vibranium because it's female so yeah you would only you could only use uh norman here on the no restriction 
But as you can see, um, Luna does way better. She's almost 7 million for me. So yeah, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of Iron Patriot. If you have a better combo instead of Venom and Shadow Shell, I just kind of picked that one out of his, his available list of uh, team ups. I just went down the list. I thought Modok and Viper was pretty hilarious, but yeah, I just chose that one there. Deadly Poison. But yeah, hit me up in the comments if you have a better one. I think that's actually his Green Goblin team up. Anywho, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.